This is Kaplan community in Mtata in the Eastern Cape, where a young girl was allegedly raped and brutally killed by her cousin. Tlatla Mbelesi's body was found by neighbors under this bed in a pool of blood yesterday morning. This 12-year-old girl was allegedly raped and brutally stabbed to death by her cousin, Tlatla Mbelesi, who is now in police custody. The incident happened while alone and waiting for her school transport. Apparently, Tlatla forcefully kicked the door down. Kwenge Gambelesi, who is Ntlantla's mother, says this happened shortly after she left for work. And then they call back to Buyel. Ntlantla, ma, kukonu mdola pe mnyangu. Titoke indi fonele umdana kasi suwamu. Kauleza no mefa iya pa endlini. Ntlantla uti kukonu mdola pa endlini mnyangu. Atoke i aunt. Dia ambi, ne modu. Kungega says locals quickly came together and scored the area for the culprit and they discovered that the killer may be her daughter's cousin, Tzinambe Lesi. The locals in their own investigations tactics before alerting the police followed the footsteps of the suspect and he was found hiding behind the door of a neighbor's hut. Sapanda, kwenye les panda ngai yuko tina singa mato tu kuto kwenye kwenye ndoo nuko zake kwenye kwenye ngai. Uchilo kuto mvu nuko ba kuwambie umama wake, ukwazilu ba ge angene, ukabeita ngo eli, ambekabeita ngo eli, ba kwenye zake a kwenye lero mrepo ambesa mkuaza pe elvalo eni, umsia ge lele, kwa dua ge mfa ge pansi kwe bed. Tantla was part of Intio cultural group that teaches young girls and upcoming girls about life and her passing follows that of a fellow Intio member, Emi Shetukani, who was brutally killed and raped by a shepherd in another Mtata locality in Bazia in April 2022. <laughs> The Kaplan community held a prayer meeting to comfort the family. The date of the funeral will be announced in due course. From Bumakapa TV News, I am Lumka Pekindawo in Mtata.